On the 26th of December 2004, an earthquake in the Indian Ocean caused a devastating tsunami that killed nearly 230,000 people in 14 countries. It remains one of the deadliest disasters in recent history. Many of these deaths could have been avoided if people had been made aware of the impending catastrophe. They would have had time to seek safety. However, no effective early warning system was in place. The scale of destruction pushed the international community to establish the Indian Ocean Tsunami Early Warning and Mitigation System. This international early warning mechanism uses sensors and related technology to detect tsunamis in advance and issue warnings to 25 countries in the Indian Ocean region. This permits timely evacuation in the coastal areas and island communities. Effective early warning systems need to be both end-to-end -end and people-centered. This means that they should launch interventions from the moment a tsunami triggering event is detected. They should also focus on helping communities interpret and react to messages to evacuate. People-centered means designing early warning systems with the engagement of affected communities, taking the needs of the entire population into account, including those most vulnerable. The Sendai Framework for Disaster Risk Reduction is the global blueprint to reduce disaster risk and losses. It calls for greater investment in multi-hazard early warning systems, recommending four key elements. First, countries must focus on improving their understanding of disaster risk. This means knowing which areas are vulnerable to tsunamis and who could be impacted. This information can be gathered from hazard data and vulnerability assessments. The second element is to develop services that help to detect or predict a tsunami and generate timely warnings. This requires a reliable forecasting system, continuous monitoring of hazard parameters, and effective warning services. These should all be based on a sound scientific basis and reliable technology. Third, it is critical that trusted sources issue warnings that are timely and accurate. An impact-based early warning has clear and simple messages. They should be disseminated through pre-identified communication systems and able to reach remote communities. This enables early action and evacuation. Efforts should be made to bridge what is known as the last mile of communication to ensure that no one is left unaware. Finally, it is essential that communities understand their risks. They must trust the warning service and know how to react. This requires raising awareness, investing in education, and ensuring that preparedness plans are in place. These four interrelated elements need to be coordinated within and across sectors and at multiple levels for the system to work effectively. Failure in one component could lead to the collapse of the whole system. The United Nations system collaborates and supports the strengthening of end-to-end, -end, people-centered early warning systems. The UN's Multi-Hazard Early Warning Systems Checklist helps countries ensure that the major elements of an effective early warning system are in place. IOC UNESCO facilitates the coordination of tsunami warning systems in four regions around the world. ESCAP manages a tsunami trust fund that deepens regional cooperation and promotes innovations in science and technology to address gaps in early warning. WMO supports countries on hazard monitoring and forecasting, as well as in the use of the Common Alerting Protocol, an international standard format for emergency alerting and public warning. UNDP conducts tsunami education and school drills in 23 Asia-Pacific countries, helping school children and their communities respond to tsunami warnings. UNDRR monitors how countries are scaling up their multi-hazard early warning systems. Tsunamis might be rare, but when they do occur, they can be devastating. The tragedy of the 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami has left the world with lessons that should never be forgotten. Investing in end-to-end -end and people-centered early warning systems will save lives, protect livelihoods, and make certain that no one is left behind when tsunamis strike.